we're going to transfer our cobalt blue tarantula in this new enclosure here that we made for her. She had a hideout there. So, let's see if we will bite us. Oop. Did it move? No. You be my eyes. Yeah, be just be very careful. Is she still just sitting there? Uh huh. She's still sitting there? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. She got um, covered okay. by the... It's okay. So this one I'm kind of thinking to do. Let's see, give her a really long, nice hide. Mm -hmm. She can go into where we can still see it. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah. Oh, close it right away. Before. No, she's okay. She she's okay. There you go. Now she's transferred. Oh, she got some, um, some, um, what you call this? The web in her leg. She'll be fine. I'll get it off. Okay. Oh, I hope she won't jump on us. I hope she won't jump on me. There you go. Now she's waking up. Now she's like, what the f... Wait for me. <laughs> Easy, little girl. Easy. There you go. Look at There's that bounce there. I know. I know. <laughs> okay, you want to get a okay. picture of her? Here. Yeah. Come here. Get a picture of her. She is not happy. But her fangs aren't really out. She's just saying, hey, I'm pissed. <laughs> So we transferred our cobalt blue today, C. Levitis. Just, it was actually really easy. She's, she's pretty defensive right now, but you can see I can pull the top off. Her, her fangs aren't even out. She just, she was sleeping and, and she just said, you know what, leave me alone. But not like the first couple times we changed her out. I'm happy she's really webbing good. And we had to take her out of this one uh, because we we're getting a little moldy. And you know what? I don't mind a little bit of mold, but I had springtails in there and they were eating it. And I kept putting springtails in and then it would disappear and it would come back. So we're going to try some different substrate. I'm going to clean this one out and then I'm going to put my Brachypelma homori. Some people call them Mexican red knees. I'm going to put that one in here because he's he's getting really big now. Big. Mm -hmm. He's had a couple of molts. So we'll show you him in a few minutes when we get him in here or when we change him out. Sulevitas, cobalt blue. She's a cobalt pretty girl. Blue. I'll show you a little close-up of her. And this is one of the Thai the versions. Cobalt. They call Orange. them... Uh, I forgot what they call them. Showing your fangs, it's kind of the yeah. emerald green mm -hmm. version. I don't know how good the video shows it, but her legs are just really green. They're really pretty. Yeah. So it's really big. She'll have a new place to explore, and I'm really glad because we gave her a new, a really big water dish, mm -hmm. and that'll help keep moisture in her environment. So onto the homori. So the homoris, we just did our cobalt blue. I'm going to put the the B homori in this one, Mexican red knee. And this one has a top that's really got a lot of holes mm -hmm. in it, mm -hmm. so it's dry. So that'll be good for this tea. I don't think it was so good for the cobalt blue because it dried out all the time and they're from a moist environment, whereas this one might be better for the homori because it's, uh, they love dry. I mean, a water dish is all they really need, so I'm gonna, just going to mix it like 70% topsoil, mm -hmm. uh, organic topsoil. Mm -hmm. I'm going to put a little sand in it and a little coconut fiber. Mm -hmm. and, and then we're going to call that good for that guy. He only needs a couple inches. He doesn't need as much as the cobalt, so that'll be nice for him. We put so some play sand in there. It's, it's filtered play sand. Mm -hmm. 
and, and I, I just picked this blue stuff. I just think it looks cool. Mm -hmm. I don't think the color will be a problem. Um, and, and I mixed it with some organic topsoil. Mm -hmm. And then um, a little bit of coconut fiber. I don't really, th I think coconut fiber is way overblown personally. I think it's just an industry that got made for it. So I'm not huge on the coconut fiber. Um, in fact, I may have put too much in here for all, you know. So I'm going to make one end real low. Mm -hmm. And then one end, and sandy. Actually, I'm going to take some of this out of here. And then uh, what we'll do is kind of like this. It's a little bit wet right now, but it'll dry out even overnight where we live at 7% humidity. So where her water dish is, I'm just gonna leave it really sandy. I think he'll he'll enjoy that better because that substrate tends to get kind of hard. Mm -hmm. And then if he wants to burrow a little, we'll give him a little place right here. I'll put his, his cover here and he can he can burrow here if he wants to go somewhere. He'll have a place to go. There's our Mexican so red. Get out. He's already big. Look. <coughs> Is he in there? Yeah, she's up. Yeah. yeah. So this one I'm not as worried about getting out. <coughs> Although he's fast. He's pretty fast. Yeah, you can see. There's the water. Well, hopefully he won't do the the destructive, I'm going to drag this all over the cage thing that they love to do. Okay, let's transfer our Mexican resin. Okay, I'm going to try to get this out of here. Let go, Bubba. Let go. Oh, you can just carry her. There you go. <laughs> That's more easy. Something like that. <laughs> She's a big girl now. That's more easier. Let's see, she didn't really jump. Make her a little borrow. Let's see. Good. There you go. Kind of get you easy. <laughs> there you go. We need something to put that on. Okay. Yeah, Bihamori. How about that He's a one? cute little. He's going into his juvenile stage. I'm really happy about that. Mm -hmm. This little cockroach. It's driving me crazy. This one's been living for a long time. <laughs> see if we can get my treat and see if he'll grab it. He's acting like he's not alive, but the second I... Would I give her a cricket? She might... No, she's not hungry. <laughs> Look at that, would you? There's an isopod right there. Yeah. Okay, I'm not putting that in there. That's going in the trash. Look, there's a nice baby isopod right mm -hmm. there. Yeah, right there where I'm pointing. Mm -hmm. In the corner. Yeah, I saw it. Yeah. <coughs> so. That's our Mexican red knee. This is That's a jewel. <laughs> Mexican red knee has his own jewel. <laughs> it's a cool jewel. We that found jewel. that. Part of a drag, they call him dragon's teeth. Mm -hmm. He's still alive, but he sure does play dead good. <laughs> well, they, they, can't, they can't turn around. He doesn't really like over. roaches that much. Mm -hmm. I'm going to put him right there. Let's see if he'll latch onto that if I get it close enough. Once it starts moving, he might he might get it hey, just from... Look at you. Look how hairy you are. She has pretty color, though. Oh, yeah. He or she they're gonna, is going to go into the juvenile state. Mm -hmm. Next mold. Maybe a juvenile now. I mean, it's not that old. It was a swing when I got it. Mm -hmm. Okay, this is a Chaco Golden Knee. Grandma stole the poker piece. They... Uh, Here's a new hide area for him to be in. I'll make that a little better for him there. Dig that out a little bit so he can go under there. Kind of make it a whole area to go 
to very straight down to his water and then if he wants to dig he can dig um i might be able to get this guy to just move maybe you can just push push her in here been a long time she's been in here uh, She's a little scared girl. Come on. There you go. There you go. She did good. Yeah, she did good. Look, she's already threading. You see the silk on her? Yeah. Oh, I don't have her cover. She had a silk. Grab the cover real quick, baby. It's right behind you. And there she goes. She's hiding. Yep. She, she was a sling when I got her, so she's molted. Couple times. Yeah, there she is. She hides. Yep. Now she'll be happy in her new enclosure. She's got a bigger one. Mm -hmm. There's a charcoal golden knee. She's just finally starting to get a little bit of color. Mm -hmm. So very nice. Okay. He's very comfortable already, or she. There she is. Mexican yep. red knee. Oh, look at how big. She's getting big. Yep. Yep. So this guy just molted. This is a Chilean rat. Uh, Species red, homeoma, uh, chilensis. Mm -hmm. She just molted, so we're going to let, let her him or her go. This is a pyramenia. I just got it. I think we'll leave her for a minute. Now I need to put a cricket in there. She might need some water. Water, because it's yeah. dry. This one's and this small. one is Brachypelma, Baumgartney. Orange we're going to rehome her right now. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mexican Orange Beauty. Okay. Oh, look, she. Did she get inside now? Did she go down there? No? Yeah, she is inside. Where is it? She's under. There she is. She's way down there? Mm hmm. So. This is a Mexican Orange Beauty. Mm hmm. So and we're transferring. Uh, yeah. we just got her uh, at Repticon. She's been mm -hmm. in this. They, they they make these things so hard to take off. I mean, it's almost like they want you to get bit. Yeah. So this is an orange beauty. And you know what I need? I guess I Shoot. Need to just need to push her out there. I need my brush. Okay. I am uno momento. You had a little hideout there just to leave. Put the blue sand, play sand in there to mix it with the... Up so we're just transferring all our tarantula today. We did the um, cobalt blue, move it to the more bigger enclosure. Second was the Mexican red knee, then charcoal golden knee, and then I think this is the fourth one. It's beauty. Where is it? Okay. okay, here it is. That's what they're telling me, anyways, when I bought it. Let's see if we can get her to kind of jump. <laughs> nope, I don't want her to jump. There you go. Where'd she go? She's under the thing. Wait, don't do that. Let's see if we can get her off of there onto the. Oops, I hope she goes inside. Easy. They like to go up. Let's see if we can get her to go down. Come on. Go down. Into your new house. There you go. Come on. Very okay. good. There. She hides in the leaf. Mexican Orange Beauty. Home garden Is she under there? Mm-hmm. Yep. yep. There she is. Rackapelma Baum garden -y. Mm -hmm. Yeah, she's so pretty. Yeah. Uh, they they said orange beauties are kind of hard to get nowadays. I don't know if I believe anything that I hear in the business anymore. Just kind of do what you do. And um, you do what works for yourself. Mm -hmm. You know. Mm -hmm. 
She is probably, I could probably put a little cricket in there. But she's, she likes doobie as Maybe a lot. Maybe the small one, small crickets. The, yeah, the one that yeah she could take a small cricket pretty small. easy. Okay.